Always a treat to see a daytime ball game here. Fenway Park in Boston, Mass. Should be a good one here this afternoon. Between the Chicago Cubs, Nolan Ryan, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. Eric, any thoughts? Well, guys, when you talk about starting pitchers, he's one of the most consistent there is in the game. He's got a career ERA in the low threes. I expect him to throw a good ball game here in this one. A swing and a miss. Two quick strikes to start his afternoon. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. And the curveball is swung on and missed, and a good pitch there results in a strikeout to begin the afternoon. Stepping in, Ben Zobrist. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. And you know, guys, he's not quite as successful when he's batting left-handed in general. He tends to have more success from the other side. And the throw is too late. He's on with a beautifully placed bunt single. That may have been one of those situations where you wonder, he's not going to be able to throw him out at first. Maybe that's one where you try and see if that would have gone foul. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is James Kingsley. Well, Kingsley's a pretty fair umpire. Sometimes a pitcher will get a call in the corners, but he rarely has people barking at him about a strike time. Ah, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. Anthony Rizzo set to take his first cuts with a man at first and two away. Bunt attempt with two outs. And he'll beat the throw as he's got himself a bunt single. Coming to the plate now, Jason Hayward. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at-bat. It's nothing in one. Try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Out in front of that one. May have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. Has to be thinking strikeout here. Now a fastball is lifted into the air to shallow center. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Jake Arrieta, the Missouri-born right-hander, gets the job of starting pitcher here. What do we need to know here, E.K.? Remember, guys, this is someone that will come at you with four different pitches. He'll change velocity. He'll go up and down. The break on the pitches makes it a real challenge for a hitter. Man, you get flat out fly. I mean, once this thing got down, you figure if this is a fair ball, it's a base hit. That's almost too easy there. Jacoby Ellsbury is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Runners off for second. Try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. He's on the move again from first. Sent on the ground out to second. Zobrist is there. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Number 17 stands in for the first time. Number 17. And now the runner's trying for third. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Right fielder. Runners at the right corners fielder. here with one Jackson. gone in the inning. And here is Mr. October, Reggie Jackson. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. And he falls behind 0-2. Arietta sets. 0-2 on its way. Oh, high. Deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. Three-run home run down the line in right as the Yankees move out to a three-to-nothing lead. Catcher, Yogi Berra. Stepping in now, Yogi Berra. And she'll go after the first. And, oh, this is off the second base bag. And they won't get an out from this as he's able to reach on a play that you just don't see very often. Third baseman, 
Alex Rodriguez, the third baseman, takes his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. And this is taken for a strike by the 40-year-old veteran. No balls and a strike. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. He's running again. Hit hard back up the middle. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Mark Teixeira will step in now with three home in the inning and another two men out there on base. This inning's really starting to unravel quickly from a defensive point of view. This is where you need a nice pop-up in a big way. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Bases are loaded here with one away. And here's the ever-dangerous Carlos Beltran. Now he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. Rizzo will have room there as he puts it away in front of the dugout for out number two. Brett Gardner stands in with another first-inning RBI opportunity in store. Yeah, and this has been an impressive first inning for these guys, and you know they'd love to tack one on here. And to score is the runner from third. That makes it a 4-0 ball game. Now back. Jackie Second Robinson baseline. strides Jackie forward with the bases Robinson. juiced now. And a big hit here could really put this one out of reach early on. He'll come to the plate with it, and they get the force at home. Whatever works is decided. Leading off the inning, Kyle Schwarber, the and they'll need him to get Up, something Peter. going here. Kyle well, you know, they've fallen Schwarber. behind by quite a bit in the early going here, so they need a good inning here to get them back in the game. Ryan gets the sign. 0-1 pitch on its way. Here's one that misses high. It's 1-1. One and one. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Curveball got him swinging for the first out. Jorge Soler will stand in as he'll get a break from playing the field and be the DH here in this one. Yeah, it's a nice luxury to have here in an interleague ball game. You give him a little bit of a break from the field, but you still keep that big bat in the lineup. And two quick outs here in the second. Batting eight. Miguel Montero Miguel into the Montero. box here in the top of the second, looking to keep this in and going. Out in front of it, strike one. And this is swung on and missed that time by Montero. No balls and two strikes now. Down by four this early. I don't know if... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They trail here four to nothing. Jacoby Ellsbury strides into the box now to lead off the home half of the second inning. Well, guys, they jumped out to that big lead early on in this game, but you really can't get comfortable. You have to keep putting pressure on Throw will not be in time as a perfect bunt there nets him a base runner to lead off the inning. Number 17. Number 17 stands in, and Ellsbury's running. Pitches a cold strike, the throw, and it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Here comes the 0-1. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. And he will not have a play behind him. It's an infield single. Striding into the box, Reggie Jackson. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. And that is in the right field, the base hit. The cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Now a 5-0 lead. Yogi Berra will stand in in another dangerous spot here in the inning as this ball game is hanging on the precipice of getting out of hand. Yeah, I think you have to get this guy if you're going to have any chance of sticking around. Even a single here might put this one out of reach. Squeeze was on, but this one will get foul. Oh, on its way, the 0-2 pitch. And he gets him to lift one high in the air and drifting out to shallow center. 
There to take it is Zobrist, and that's out number one. Alex Rodriguez steps in for his second at-bat. A fielder's choice his first time around. Big curveball swung on and missed 0-1. And, and this is a guy who will not get cheated up there, and he almost came out of his shoes on that one. Swung on and chopped up the middle, and the run is in to score from third. The run scores from second. It's 7-0. One away in the dangerous Mark Teixeira. The hitter now. 0 for 1 on the day after reaching on an error his first time up. Back to Rizzo and they get out of it here. A double play. Welcome back to Fenway Park as we continue our coverage of Major League Baseball on the show. Addison Russell will lead things off here with his guys down 7 in the early going. Steve Lyons, how do you come back from a deficit like that? Well, I think slowly. I mean, yeah, ideally a 10-run inning would be great. But you've got time on your side. You don't need to try to get it all back at once. Just pack away. A couple runs here, a couple runs there. Get yourself into slam range. That's four runs down. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Yeah, he wasn't so sure that was the right call. And looking at it again right here, I don't know if I can tell for sure either. We'll wait to see what the guys in the dugout say after reviewing this play a couple of times, probably. So here's the signal from the bench, and they will indeed ask for the play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive answer on this play. Dexter Fowler stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. No Hit swung on and missed the throw. Poor base running there. Got him caught in a hot box between first and second. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. No one out with a runner at second. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. And this is a spot where... To me, you That's don't need to play home run derby here. I mean, if your last name is Pujols or Fielder, maybe. But for a guy like this, you just try to get on base and give your guys a chance to drive you in. Ben Zobrist is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Tough fastball that time, but he hangs with it to stay alive. One out and a runner on second base. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. Another one sent foul. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at-bat will continue. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. This one's flared toward left center. Number 17 onto the grass. He's got it, and there are two down now. Chris Bryant is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Oh, missed that one by a mile. It's 0-1. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one, and that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Carlos Beltran digs into the box in the bottom of inning number three. Designated hitter. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Fowler moves over. Makes the play one away. So one gone in the inning now, and that'll bring in Brett Gardner. Arietta into the windup. First pitch on its way. Try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Bunt attempt, and it looks like a good one. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Back to the top of the order now. And in steps a man whose number 42 has been forever retired, Jackie Robinson. Oh, and he lays one down here, and this is going to be a tough play. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. 
And sometimes, you know, outs when they're giving them to you. Here he tries to force this one into second base, and you knew right when he threw it that this didn't look very promising. And now they wind up getting nobody out. Jacoby Ellsbury steps in, working on a one for two game so far. First delivery to him on the way. Grounded to the right. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. The runner from second crosses the plate. Number 17 will be the batter. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. He's set. Here it comes. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. You see from the wide angle, the third baseman is not expecting this at all. He's got no chance to make the play here. That's a great job of catching everybody off guard. Reggie Jackson will come up now in yet another big RBI opportunity. And he's got four already, and he's got a chance to make this a game to remember. That's yanked into the stand, strike one. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Here's a swing, and oh, man! Way out of here! So he promptly unloads the bases with that one, his second of the game, as this lead got even wider. The windup and the 0-1. Grounded back up the middle. Throw gets him, two down. Third baseman, number Digging three. in now, Alex Rodriguez. And he'll be looking to add on to his two RBIs from earlier. No contact on the sinker there, and he's behind 0-1. Oh, and he sure got a good one, doesn't he? That ball goes from about knee-high to ankle-high in a matter of about five feet. Up the middle and off the pitcher's leg. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it. And get... Anthony Rizzo is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. Well, they still aren't even on the board yet, so this leadoff guy needs to get on so they can manufacture a run. Ryan's ready. 0-1 oh, on its way. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Oh, Chop foul at the plate, and he stays alive, still 0-2. Oh, Pitch swung on and hit in the air. He'll put it away without much trouble, and the leadoff man is retired here in the fourth. Up next for the Cubs. Settling in now, Jason Hayward. Jason he flew out in his Hayward. last at-bat. First pitch oh, hack in count. here, and that's the first strike. And we've seen a lot of that pitch here in the first four innings, and it's been real effective for him, and that's another example right there. Got him. Hey. Kyle Schwarber comes to the plate looking to put the ball in play. He went down on strikes last time. Yep, they sent him packing last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. Fastball called for strike two. Yeah, he has been patient up there, but now he's backed himself into a corner. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. And a bunt attempt now, but this is foul, and the inning is over. What was that all about? And another foul ball. On the ground, up the middle. Robinson scoops it up. Throw on to Teixeira is going to be in time, and with it, the inning is over. Cubs are down in order. The first baseman, Mark Teixeira, is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Ah. 
And a first pitch sinker is over for strike one. Well, this is pretty strange, guys. He's throwing a first pitch strike to every batter he's faced. And yet he's obviously struggling quite a bit. He's throwing strikes, but they're just way too hittable. 